Hi everyone, I greet you all in the name of the Lord. I trust that you are doing great. I am doing fine too in the Lord. I thank God this day and um, I'm blessed to be here again to share with you uh, something and I want to welcome whoever is new, whoever is watching these videos for the first time. I want to let you know that you are not on the wrong place. The fact that you you found yourself watching this means you need it or somebody near you needs it and so you will need to share. My name is Maggie Seure and I'm, I am I am a winding up with the marriage series and today there is something that I also want to handle and this is about um I want to say today that you cannot fix uh, your marriage by your own strength, by your own might. You cannot change that man. You cannot change that woman. You cannot. By your own power, you cannot. You see, somebody changes when they encounter God for themselves or when they decide one day and say, you know what, what I've been doing is wrong. I need to do what God demands me to do. But you cannot change them. You know, you're pleading, your tears, you're crying, you're asking every day, why are you doing this to me? Why do you do this? And the same thing happens. They don't listen. Why? Because it will only take God to fix this person. And as long as they have not stopped to pay attention to what God wants them to do, they will always see you as a drama queen. You're complaining, you're crying always, you're doing this and they continue with their normal character. What you can do for these people is pray. Pray in secret. You see, plead to God. Because if there is one thing that I always believe in life, if there is that one thing in life that takes only the grace and the help of God, is matters of marriage. Because you see, this matter, <clears throat> imagine it involves another person whom you've gotten into your life and who God claims that you should be one with them. So who is supposed to make that person one with you? It is your maker. And so you cannot, you know, no amount of advice, no amount of, of talk, no amount of counseling will change somebody. It will take the hand of God to locate that person and to touch that person that they will make a turn around and realize this is wrong. I'm doing something wrong. But before that, my sister, my brother, it's going to be a long journey. That's why I always say pray. If you want somebody to be changed, if you want somebody to do what you want them to do, God, get deeper with God. Even if you are not that a prayerful person, like Ulikwanim too, how pendi mamboya God. And you know, sometimes people say, ah, you are too spiritual. You always talk about God. I'm telling you, for marriages, relationships to work, it will all, you will solve it alone. You say, ah, it is working for me. We don't even go to church. We don't even pray. And it is working, yes. But there is a moment you will realize that without God, there is no joy in that thing. Without God, there is nowhere you are going. Your fights are going nowhere. There is not a day you will say, ah, oh, we found our own way to fix our stuff. It is not easy. You have to go deeper. If you have this stubborn situation, and maybe you are separated today, or you are in this place, you are like, I now, this person can't change me, I can't. Yes, because you can't, you can't change them. But do you know you can help them to change? Do you know how you can do it? Go into secret prayer. Pray for your partner to wake up one day and realize that they've been wrong. Pray even for salvation, for your partner to be saved. And that is a prayer in secret. Ask God to open their spiritual eyes to realize what has been going on in their lives, that their lives is being wasted and there's no one that cares about them except you. <clears throat> Ask God to turn the attention of your partner to you and to listen to you. All these things, my sister, my brother, you labor in prayer. Your tears should not be towards your partner for what they are doing to you or how they are treating you. Your tears should be towards your maker who gave you this person. And if indeed this person doesn't change for the sake of your marriage, then God himself will let you go, will release you from such a bond. Because it may mean that it was wrong even in the first place to be with them. But it will take God, like I say, you cannot change your partner. You cannot you may just influence them. I've had instances where they say, ah, somebody changed. Their character changed a lot when they met so-and-so. Or even somebody confesses by themselves and say, by the way, when I met this lady, I changed. I had to be a good man. Or when I met this man, I had to change from my bad habits. Yes, that normally happens, but one in a million. You see, it's only in small cases where somebody actually was inspired by somebody they met and they, they decided to be good people. 
it happens yes your character can win somebody and i want to mention something on that <clears throat> We are always advised that if you are a born again lady, a born again man, it is safe to look for when you are looking for a married partner, look for somebody who is also um, who is also born again, somebody who fears God like you. It will be very easy because a God fearing person will look to pleasing God and not you. A God fearing person will not cheat on you, not because they love you that much, but because they fear hurting God. They know the laws of God. They know the commandments. A God-fearing person will not hit you. He will not hurt a kumiza physically. Not because you are so good and nice and quiet, but because they fear because God will be angry at them. They know what God wants of them. So even if you are this kind of a person, they will really refrain from sinning, from doing something that God does not allow. So they always say it is safe to, 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 to find somebody to marry who is God-fearing or who is born again because they will, they will know their place in the marriage. And so it will be very easy. There will not, not be so much misunderstandings because you are reading from the same page. You know what God demands of the two of you. But when somebody is not God-fearing, it will really be difficult because um, they may not understand what is wrong with you. And I don't want to mean that now you cannot get married to somebody who is not born again. The same word of God allows that a, a man can be won, a, a non-believer can be won to be a believer through their partner. So I don't mean today now leave those people who don't know God, you know, those people who, who are sinners, those people. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Because the word uh, explains that it is possible to win them through your own character. It is very possible. So if God has given you a man, he may, be, he may change them through you. And they, or they may be changed or won through you to be believers. But again, if you're searching, ask God to give you a man who knows him so that it will, it will be easy you want a man who will be a priest in your home who will know how to lead you see but all in all just pray 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 my fellow people these things these things are not you know chemistry layer shule this is something so deep and serious another thing i want to mention in this video is about uh, <clears throat> character you see for example if your wife is a cheat and or, or your husband is a cheat and he's very unfaithful and he doesn't care. And you realize you sort this issue today, next week or next month or next year, it is the same thing. He cannot stop. It's like it's his character. He's always going out with other women and still ask. They, they still love you, by the way. They even tell you that we love you, but they find themselves in those compromising situations every time. Let me tell you, sometimes these people are not to blame. Sometimes maybe your partner is not to blame. That is why I say pray a lot. For salvation of your partner, because <clears throat> did you know there are even characters that are hereditary? You see, like you find somebody was born in this family who uh, they had um, they had history of, of such kind of history. Maybe their parents used to do the same. Their forefathers, uh, their grandparents before had the same character, and so a child is born in that family and finds himself doing those same things. And even them, they wonder, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? That is why we even talk about deliverance. We even talk about, you know, somebody who is giving their lives to Christ. You get disconnected from the things you inherited from parents in case. <clears throat> I don't mean all parents. I don't mean, sorry about that. I mean, not all cases of cheating really means it was inherited or something that came from family but some of them are like that that's why you just need to pray and pray and pray and one time you'll just be amazed at how your partner decides and and realizes that they've been doing something wrong and you will enjoy so all these things are battered in prayer there is no miracle there is no rocket science there is no other means it has to take god to touch a heart so pray and pray and pray and stop trying to fix by your own it won't work no matter how you cry no matter how you ask them to change no matter what you do they will not because it will take God to touch somebody. It will take somebody to make that decision by their own. So just pray for them. Because if you try to fix by your own, the Bible says it is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Some things are not fixable by our own might. So go deeper and seek God. And indeed, he will answer you. 
and you will enjoy it. So that was my message today. Thank you so much for watching through. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen. And um, I hope it has helped somebody. If you haven't subscribed, please do so that, so that you may get a notification every time I post a video or some music. God bless you so much and see you again next time. Bye-bye.